Consider the following information. Y is equivalent to the difference between twice the value of X and a constant C, where C equals 3. Which of the following options represents the same relationship as the aforementioned information? Let's start by translating this sentence into a mathematical equation. We have Y is equivalent to the difference between twice the value of X, or 2 times X, and a constant C, so minus C. And we know C is equal to 3, so we can say y is equal to 2x minus 3. That is our equation, and we can use that to figure out which one of our answers matches this equation. Let's start with answer choice C, because this is already written in y equals mx plus b form, but the sign on our b is incorrect. We have a plus here and a negative here, so they do not match, making C incorrect. If we look at answer choice B, we need to translate another sentence. X is e uh, equivalent to the sum of half the value of Y, so half Y, and a constant C, the sum of that in a constant C. And we know C is equal to 3, so we can rewrite that as X is equal to 1 half Y plus 3. Now we just need to rearrange it so that Y is isolated so that we can properly compare. Using opposite operations, we'll subtract 3 from both sides. These will cancel, giving us x minus 3 is equal to 1 half y. And 1 half y can also be rewritten as y divided by 2. They're both the same thing, and that makes it a bit easier to visualize what we have to do here. y is being divided by 2, so we need to do the opposite and multiply both sides by 2. This answer choice is counting on you to only multiply the first two numbers uh, on the side of the equation, 2 times x, and then leave your negative 3 alone, because then it would match our original equation. However, to balance the equation, we have to multiply this 2 to everything. So we do 2 times x and 2 times negative 3, which would give us y is equal to 2x minus 6. And that does not match our original answer, making b incorrect. For answer choice a, our y-intercept is correct at negative 3. However, let's check our x-intercept. This is the point 3 comma 0, so we can plug in those two points and see if it's correct. y is equal to 0, 2x is equal to 3, minus 3. 2 times 3 will give us 6 minus 3, and 6 minus 3 is equal to 3, which is not equal to 0, making a incorrect. So by process of elimination, d is our correct answer, but for the sake of the video, I'll go show you exactly why d is correct. For answer choice D, let's start by plugging in our first value of X, this 0. Y is equal to, actually I'll do it up here. Y is equal to uh, 2 times 0 minus 3. 2 times 0 is 0 minus 3 will give us negative 3, which matches the table. Grab a new color and plug in 1. Y is equal to 2 times 1 minus 3. 2 times 1 is 2 minus 3 is negative 1, matching the table. Next, we'll do 2. y is equal to 2 times 2 minus 3. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Minus 3 is equal to 1, which matches the table. Then we'll have 3. y, let's scoot that over. y is equal to 2 times 3 minus 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 3 is 3, matching the table. And finally, y is equal to 2 times 4 minus 3. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3 is equal to 5, matching the table and making answer choice D our correct answer.